He was born a son of Chicago's West Side. That alone imparts a special character, of course. And he was destined to become uniquely special. In the eyes of someone else. The same was true of her. Born into a people with a reverence for life and with a zest for living it. While she was growing into enchanting womanhood, he was developing into accomplished manhood. His earliest accomplishments pointed toward those to come. Team leadership. Globetrotting for the sport at which he excelled. Loyalty for the university that would grow in recognition with him. But in the meantime, in the meantime, the woman and man who knew each other first as her coach and his player. Married. They married, they multiplied. Yes, they multiplied in kind and in spirit, but most significant for all, they supported and challenged one another and enjoyed each other. Throughout their years, the way they have nurtured their own love is how they've nurtured others. As parents, they also took on as their own those placed in their care, setting high expectations, giving good counsel, caring. giving to those closest to them also seems to know no limits for those in the larger community. If there is a spirit of Chicago and DePaul, as certainly there is, he is where that spirit is most visible and vital. And if it's true that in friendships and laughter we humans are most human, there's no doubt 
but these two are without equal among us. an ordinary woman in their love of one another and for all others they have become extraordinary a celebration of life of God's love of their faith in his love as we celebrate Marge and Ray we do so with the joy and in the hope expressed by the poet Robert Browning Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be.